Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 21-22. Tops UEFA Champions League Soccer. Well, it's actually probably... It's kind of mixed up a little bit. It's actually Tops Chrome Merlin UEFA Champions League Soccer. It's kind of all over anyway. It's a 12... You get it. It's a 12-box break. Pick your team 11. Uh, full hobby case, all card ship. There it is, 21-22 UEFA Chrome Merlin. It says there... Big thanks, everybody, here for making it happen on a Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh, you know what? I should probably put this, just help the shipping team out. I want to put the 17 team combo. Onto the list as well. Stand by, let me just reprint this list out. Sorry, trees. All right, while well, that's printing, let's pop this open here. Trendsetter, what's going on, Aaron? How are you? All right, so there we go. So once again, big thanks to everybody here. Robert got the 17-team combo, which includes all of those teams. All right. There it is. So let's see. Uh, Merlin, let's see, what kind of, well, let's see what kind of magic we can find in here, ladies and gentlemen. Tops Chrome Merlin? Tops Merlin Chrome? Either way, good luck. Are these one of those? Yeah, this is the set. Here's something unique right here. This is a set where the cards are made in Italy. So if you can compare it with other Chrome cards that you have, um, um, just in your collection, you can kind of tell a difference. Pretty cool. Your lines are on a three-game win streak. Super Bowl, here we come. Man, trendsetter, before the season, you were acting like they weren't even going to win three games this year. Now you've just done it. That's a complete 1-8. Now it's Super Bowl time. Yes, Goff has been there before. And the running game looked really good for the Detroit Lions today. So then, if they could... They can keep doing that. Might be a good recipe for success. Well, I told you that 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 it, it was a team that it was capable of doing that. And uh, you did not believe me. All right. First box, and of course, all card ship. So you can already feel like a, there's like a different feeling to that stock there, which is, which is pretty cool. First auto, already out. It's one chrome auto per box. So here it is, that's Sergei. Milinkovic Savic for Lazio. And that was, uh, is that part of the, oh, there it is. 
Lazio. It's part of the 17-team uh, combo. So, Robert, congrats to you. Now, a lot of these guys you're probably going to see in the World Cup. So, it's a good time. You're definitely going to see that guy in the World Cup. I'm going to see that guy in the World Cup. See Jack Grealish in the World Cup. You'll see Lionel Messi in the World Cup. You're not going to see Kareem Benzema in the World Cup, though. 71 out of 99. I think he got got some sort of injury in training for the World Cup. He's out. But that'll go to Real Madrid. That'll be for Chad. That's a. It's actually kind of a big blow for uh, a big blow for the. For his team, um, France. Uh, Sadio Mane is also out. This goes to Liverpool, and that's going to be a big blow for Senegal. Jonathan David trying to maybe pull an upset. That's for Lille. That'll be for Nicholas. Upset for uh, the Canadians. The rookie silver, Antonio Blanco for Real Madrid. And it's uh, Pat Sandaka, 29 out of 199 for Leicester. It's going to be for Victor in Leicester City. And Chad has Real Madrid. We've got Dane Scarlett, 48 out of 50 for Tottenham. That's going to go to Joe in the Hotspur. You see Jude Bellingham in the World Cup. And there's Kylian Mbappe, Prophecy Fulfilled insert for PSG, Paris Saint-Germain. That's going to be for Chad. Um, I ha if you go to the break schedule, I do have some World Cup picks that I kind of loaded up here for entertainment purposes only. Um, I had a play today. I went with the underdogs cutter versus Ecuador. Thought there might be some, some home country magic here, but no, Ecuador comfortably beat cutter 2-0. I've got a play tomorrow. I'm going with England as heavy favorites, minus 280 versus Iran. Just for funsies. I have some group picks. I have Cutter to qualify at plus 350. Now, I, I don't know if a home country as small as this has advanced, but generally home countries advance to the next stage. I don't think Cutter's going to do it. I think the only country that hasn't done it was, I think, South Africa, maybe, I think, was unable to get out of the group stages when the World Cup was there. But otherwise, most countries have, if not all. Wales to qualify, Group B, plus 120. Morocco to qualify, or Mexico to qualify, minus 115. Denmark to win the group, plus 230. I think Argentina will probably, I think they're in the Argentina group. But these are, you know, just some value plays. Just seeing, I'm not saying this is actually going to happen, but... Just see some value there. Japan to qualify at plus 310. Canada to qualify at plus 280. I like that one. Switzerland to qualify at plus 120. Uruguay to win the group. Group H plus 190. South Korea to qualify at plus 225. Just, just sprinkling a little lottery ticket money, you know, a little scratcher money on it. Nothing too, nothing too crazy, just for a little skin in the game. All right, next box. We got Weston McKinney. We got Harvey Elliott, Liverpool's Harvey Elliott, 198 out of 199. And the autograph, Declan Rice for West Ham United. Robert, Robert Rohr with West Ham United. 
Gets the 24 out of 99, Declan Rice. There's Harvey Elliott right there for Liverpool. That's going to be for Ed, who's got my club, Liverpool. We got Vinicius Jr. for Real Madrid. That'll be for Chad. And the rookie silver going to Wolfsburg. That's going to be... For Robert Runkle, part of that big combo team. Ooh, nice Neymar. 49 out of 50. That'll be for PSG. Chad. Harry Kane, Prophecy Fulfilled. There's a silver Kylian Mbappe. Non-rookies, I don't know really what that's going to go for, but still Kylian Mbappe. There's Sofian Dia, 52 S75 for Monaco. It's going to go to Brian. There's a rookie silver of Angel Gomez. There's Giovanni Reina. That's for Nicholas and Lille. All right, next box. Anyone have any... Uh, World Cup predictions? Any like group stage upsets or I suppose it could go very chalk, but there's always there's always some kind of upset, right? Some big some big uh big club, big favorite that doesn't even get out of the group stages. There could be some upsets. Golden boot. Sprinkle a little bit of lottery scratcher money on the golden boot as well. Killing and Bappe at plus eight hundred. Which I'm now feeling. I did. I also had picked Kareem Benzema, his countryman, at plus thirteen hundred, but he's out for the World Cup. I've already lost that one, but that might improve the Kylian Mbappe numbers. So plus eight hundred. I mean, it might be plus seven hundred now, six hundred. Got Neymar at plus eleven hundred, eleven to one. Cristiano Ronaldo eighteen to one. Richarlison plus twenty five hundred. Vinicius Junior. Uh, 30 to 1, Darwin Nunez 40 to 1, Cody Gakpo 66 to 1, and Dusan Vlahovic at plus 6,600. The USA is pretty uh, upsetting, J Lo's saying. I don't know, they, got, they actually have a pretty good young team. They should be able to qualify. All right. There's an Erling Holland silver. Nice. And we got a Miguel Gutierrez, 78 out of 99. Rookie card for Real Madrid. That'll be for Chad. The Earl in Holland for Borussia Dortmund. Matthew. Nice one. I guess next year we'll see him in his Man City gear. And Marcos Alonso for Chelsea. That's our autograph. And that will be for Matthew Linder. Tian Min Sun. And we got Kenneth Taylor for Ajax, 31 out of 199. 
That's part of the combo team for Robert Runkle. Sun will go to Tottenham. That'll be for Joe. Yeah, Victor's saying, watch that U.S. midfield tomorrow. They are beasts. They are. Well, we're going to see them in action tomorrow, Gilo. That's 11 a.m. my time, L.A. time, USA, Wales. There's Prophecy Fulfilled, Lionel Messi. It's Matthias Tell. And we got Duvan Zabata for Atalanta. 10 out of 75. That's going to go to Robert. And the combo, that blue shimmer. Matthias Tell. That's for Stade Rene. Yeah. That could be, that could be, uh, I don't know if he's on... He might be. He's French. And I think he's still with the under 19s. Yeah, he's only 17 years old. So, so, but that's a rookie card. That might be one to hold on to. In four years, he might be, he might be breaking his way, early 20s, right? Breaking his way into that French national team. Six, six out of 150, uh, that's uh, Lyon. And that will be for the combo. All right, next box, yeah. I do like the Merlin design too. They have this in baseball, don't they? Don't they have Merlin in baseball? Um, fans, uh, here's a news story from ESPN FC. Fans of victorious Ecuador were ch heard chanting, we want beer, during the World Cup opening win over Qatar, while the host nation support left en masse before the end of the game on Sunday. Large swaths of empty seats in the second half summed up the Qatar soccer team's disappointing start to their first ever World Cup, but a lively and outnumbered group of Ecuadorians in the stands provided some levity by chanting for beer toward the end of the first half. Wow, so this host team losing ensures that this is the first time a host team has lost their opening game. I didn't realize that. This article is brutal, and what might go down is one of the worst displays by a host nation to open a tournament. Cutter had five shots in the match, and none of them were on target. Team only had two touches inside the opposition penalty area. Wow. No, they were not favored. I think they were, they were plus like 280. Um, soccer odds are kind of weird, but they were plus 280 to win outright. I think a tie was like plus 170 or plus 200 or something, and Ecuador was plus uh, one, almost even money to win. There's Brendan Rodgers, manager of Leicester City. Does he still have a job? This is not baseball player Brendan Rodgers.
No, I think he's still, he's still employed by Leicester City. Victor Ramos with Leicester. 148 out of 150. Got Declan Rice, 57 out of 99. That'll be for Robert. Got his autograph earlier. And we've got Christopher uh, in Cuckoo. For Leipzig, 97 out of 225. And that will be for Nicholas. We got Malo Gusto, 151 out of uh, 199 for Lyon. That'll be for Robert Runkel. We got Leslie, uh, Ugo Chuk, Ugo Chupu. There you go. For Stad Rene, that goes to Chung Won. Tomorrow's World Cup matches. Um, this is where it all starts. We'll have multiple soccer matches a day now. It's going to be pretty exciting. A lot of things going on. Uh, the early, early game, early for me, 5 a.m. L.A. time. I'm not going to be awake for England or Ron. I'll watch the highlights later. 8 a.m. still kind of early. Senegal, Netherlands is tomorrow. That should be a good match, actually. And at 11 a.m. Pacific, it's going to be uh, USA-Wales. I'll be awake for that. I might, I'm going to try to catch the... I don't know if I'll be awake early enough to actually go somewhere, but... I could probably... Uh, let me get the second half. Yeah, you think you think Ecuadorians are all about Tom T. Hall, Mike Tower? Yeah, they might be, they might be big there, if possible. How are the major leagues or teams handing their pro players, stuff like the Premier League, on pause? Uh, yeah, the Premier League is taking a break for a couple weeks, I think. So there's, there's Noni Madueke for Eindhoven. That's going to go to, that's part of the combo team, Robert, with that one. And there's Chukomeni, 16 out of 150 for Monaco. It's a nice one for Brian. But yeah, most uh, most European leagues have a winter break already, so they already have they already have a month off. But England, you know, has a tradition of having like Boxing Day games, like after Christmas, they have what's called Boxing Day, and so they traditionally have. Um, Matches there and throughout the what they call the festive season. 
but I think they put like a couple week pause on it, and I think um, but I think they'll just they'll they'll resume I think in time for some some of the festive fixtures. Another Matthias Tell, nice one, two fifty, out of two fifty for Stade Rene, Jung Won with that. There's a rookie silver Malo uh, Gusto for Leon for Robert Runkel. Alex, what's going on? And of course, um, the MLS season ended about a few weeks ago, so that won't be a problem for us. I'll try to catch as many of those rookie silvers as possible. And 5 out of 50, Roberto Carlos, Ageless Alchemy. Insert. Nice, Real Madrid, Chad. Nice, Ansu Fati. It's not a rookie, but it's pretty good. And for Barcelona, will be Akomach. Elias Akomach. All right, next box. Anyone seeing any match first first match upsets? I can't see. Well, who's the favorite in? Uh... No, no odds here, huh? Chad got no idea on the soccer. What are we looking for? Uh, well, we're you've got you've got some pretty nice teams. You, I mean, you got Barcelona, a lot of great like that Ansu Fati player that we just grabbed. If we find his autograph, that'd be great. And there you, you got you got some pretty nice clubs. There are some of the pricier teams remaining. Cristiano Ronaldo in Man United, Kylian Mbappe for Paris Saint-Germain, Vinny Jr. for Real Madrid. So th those are the players that you'll be looking for. Alex asking, how old will I be when the next World Cup comes around? 62. Yeah, we just did we did pull an Ansu Fati, so this guy except his autograph. That's not his rookie card though. Ooh. And you're looking for stuff like that too. I'll show you that in a second. Oh, those match ball cards are really awesome. We got Jamal Musiala, two twelve out of two seventy five. Zvatterson for Monaco. There's Vanderson. Look like in my late to early forties or thirties, or could it, it could be twenties? Who knows? Doesn't matter. Who knows? We got Liam Delap, 59 out of 150. Speckle. We're looking for Super Fractors? That would be nice. Or these uh, Renaissance cards. These are pretty nice too. Kevin De Bruyne, Renaissance, Man City. Victor Ramos. I think these are short printed. Shorter printed. 
or one per case. I mean, we're going to see him hopefully a lot in the World Cup. That'll be good for the hobby. Yeah, Victor's happy. There's another Liam Delap for Man City rookie card. It's pretty awesome, Victor. I think what do what do those go for? There's Robert Lewandowski, 22 out of 75. That is for Paul. No, that's that's for Bayern Munich. That's going to be for Chad. He plays for Poland. Prolific striker here, Chad. So that that's one to keep an eye out for in Poland in the World Cup. Another rookie, uh, Vardiol for Leipzig. All right, and we got Riyad Mahrez. Match ball signatures. These are really cool. Really, really good player here. Man City, that's for Victor. There you go, Victor. You got the, the Kevin De Bruyne and now his teammate. Is this going to fit into a 1 8? This might be more comfortable in a. Uh, Slider box here. There you go. I don't think this was numbered either. Sorry, I put some blanks on the bottom here. Yeah, not numbered, but real nice. All right, halfway through this full case break, we got another uh, full case in the store right now. You can pick your teams if you like. That's right, Alex. One chrome autograph per box on average. Is this one of the products that are part of the World Cup giveaway promo? No, Mike, we already ran that randomizer. People have their teams already. Ooh, is this another match ball auto? Nice. Yeah. Man, Mike Tower, I'm, that's how I know he doesn't look at the, uh, the break schedule. He's asking about my picks. He's asking about the World Cup promo. Which has already been complete. Everyone's been randomized their countries. And this break would have said World Cup in the title. With the two soccer ball emojis, as if this was part of the promo, but it doesn't have that. All right, there's a uh, Ezel Zuli, Ezel Zuli, Barcelona rookie refractor. Yeah, obviously you want to try to get autos, but a lot of the parallels. And there's a Cristiano Ronaldo silver. Ooh, and an Earl in Holland. 87 out of 275 for Borussia Dortmund. Matthew Linder, nice. Oh, you're saying, is this one of the products that are being given away to winners in the promo? I don't know. That I don't remember. 
The box list is on the website, though. If you scroll to the soccer section, you should see the World Cup promo thing there. And I'll... I think all the details of all the boxes we're giving away are there. That I don't remember. And a Mason Mount Renaissance card. Nice. I don't think these are too common. That's Chelsea. That's from Matthew Linder. Chad saying he's reading that there's a perfection card. That's the rare card in this set. I don't think I've ever seen that, so it must be pretty rare. It's Man City, Cole Palmer, rookie card for uh, Victor. There you go, Victor. And we got Loom. Chacona for Stadia Rene, 72 out of 199. That's for Jungwon. And there's a John Pacheco, rookie Real Sociedad. A die cut. I don't remember die cuts being in Marlon Chrome. Is there a die cut in Marlon Chrome? Like maybe there is. What do those look like? see die cuts on the checklist on this Chad And the match ball autograph is Alejandro Balde. Rookie match ball and autograph for Barcelona. Nice. And that'll be, that's for you, Chad. Love these match ball autographs. Congrats. And next box. Victor's calling a super friend. I would love to see it. Are the Dodgers ever going to win a World Series again? I'm sure they will someday. I don't think I've seen a super fracture out of this either. It would be pretty awesome. Have I even seen like train whistle hits out of five? I don't know, it's been a minute or two since I've done a case of this.
Cole Palmer rookie. Cristiano Ronaldo Silver. Frankie de Jong. Atomic to 250 for Barcelona. Chad. I'm looking at the base set checklist on the on cardboardconnection.com right now. And I don't see anything about die cuts. But it does go from uh, the base set. I guess autographs don't have an out of five. But I think the base set does go like purple to 15, red to 10, red wave to five, super fractor one of one. Ah, Chad was wrong. It's the Renaissance. Right, yeah, we pulled two of those, so we got pretty lucky in this case. There's Malo Gusto. And we got an autograph for Lazio, Philippe Anderson. It's part of the combo team. That's part of uh, the 17 team combo group. That's for Robert, Robert Runkel. Uh, there's Christian Matsima from Monaco. That'll be for Brian, rookie refractor. And a green Kylian Mbappe, 69 out of 99. This is a nice one, Chad. Paris Saint-Germain. Keep an eye on him and the French national team in the World Cup. And there's Sergio Ramos, 112 out of 150. Everyone's favorite Sergio Ramos. All right, next box. Yeah, he's supposed to be pretty good, Chad. He's one of your favorites, among some of the favorites for the Golden Boot. And without Karim Benzema on that squad, might be even more goal scoring opportunities for him. Yeah, I do too. I want to find out what that super fractal looks like. Yeah, Gilo, do you are you telling me to read a did you know? Are there are there did you knows on the back? I'll read you a did you know. Did you know? Uh, Gilo, did you know? That only one player scored more goals in the 2020-2021 UEFA Champions League. Uh, only one player scored more goals than Kylian Mbappe. This dude right here, who netted eight times for PSG. On February 16th, he provided a hat trick against Barcelona, the beginning of a three-match span in which he rallied up six tallies. Yeah, did you know that, Gilo? I don't know if I did. I don't know if I did know that. I knew he scored a lot of goals. I didn't know that only one player scored more than him. Well, who's that other player then, you think? Who do you think scored more goals than him? I could see maybe Robert Lewandowski having more goals.
for um, for Bayern Munich. We got Jules uh, Condi Con Con for Sevilla. That's a 250. That is for Robert Runkle. And we've got Alejandro Balde for Barcelona. Rookie auto for Chad. Another one of his. Fifty-five out of seventy-five. Why is soccer so expensive? Supply and demand, Chad. Not a lot of supply, and especially with the World Cup around, a lot of demand. And, um, and some of these cards can go for a lot on the secondary market. Um, did you know that Erlen Holland became the fastest player ever to 20 UEFA Champions League goals with his second strike against Sevilla on March 9, 2021? There you go. Some more, more did you knows. That's Dembele for Celtic. Yeah, Chad, get get some get some of your stuff to gold and let's. Get some money back here. Um, that's uh, Felix in Mecha, 14 out of 150. For Wolfsberg. There's Gavi, rookie refractor. Barcelona for Chad. There's Pedri, Barcelona to 275. Nice. For Chad. Gavi's a pretty good player, right? Did you know that Gavi was only 17 years old when he made his first UEFA Champions League start on October 20th, 2021? Featuring at both central midfield and the wing for Barca, he played 68 minutes in their 1-0 win over Dynamo Kiev. Completed 45 of his 50 passes. It's 90%. That's a good, that's a good completion, completion uh, rating. There are some NFL quarterbacks would love to see 90%. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's... It's a one box break. Chad, I'll, I definitely have time for that. If you take a look at our schedule, Chad, which is dropped in the, which is dropped in the, uh, in our chat by Nightbot, that gives you our schedule. And you'll see, you'll note that the schedule is pretty light after this. And that pro tip, everybody, that schedule is, um, that schedule is, uh, you can access that at any time. Even when I, you can bookmark it, even when I'm not on air. Sometimes I'll use that schedule, like, we've had the rare instance where, um, where, like, the power has gone out or something weird like that. And usually I'll write on that and on our social medias, but also right on that schedule what, uh, what happened. So that's another resource to see. You can access Joe's picks there. There's a shipping tab there too, where you can, um, you can see what the status of your, of your break is. So you'll, you'll see the date of the break and then next to it, there'll be another column that says what's happening with it. Yeah. 
Yeah, 17. Yeah, when you were when Gilo was 17, he wasn't doing squat. Where yeah, what were you doing, Gilo? We got Kyogo, Furuhashi, 137 to 150 for Celtic. That will be for Robert. And we got a Nuno Mendez for PSG. It's for Chad. Uh, those, are the, oh, those are the lyrics in a song by Frank Sinatra. It's the song, Victor, called The Summer Wind. The summer wind came blowing in. No, that's a different song. That was, it was a very good year. Is it called When I Was 17? I thought it was called When I Was 17. It was a very good year. It was a very good year for group breaks. And Harveyville to 275. What was the last very good year from that song? When I, I was, left. it was 35. Got it. Got it. Mm. 35. That was the last very good year. That was the last very good year. When I was 35. We got Ingolo Conte to 99. That's for Chelsea. That'll be for Matthew. Right, I know, Victor. I caught myself. I was like, wait a second. That's not the right song. What was I doing? I don't know what I was doing at 17. Um... Probably playing a lot of tennis and probably playing in a, in a local rock and roll combo. You know, like we would just go to a friend's house and one person would, would have gotten the latest 45 from the record shop. You know, the latest Beatles 45 from the record shop and we would all save up our money and then we'd go and pay the 50 cents, which was a lot. They would all have to chip in all of our pennies and dimes and nickels. And then we would go to, uh, we would go to the record store, get the old Beatles 45. You know, I want to hold your hand. Probably what I was doing when I was 17. And then we'd all run to, because only one of our buddies had a record player. We'll all go to his house and put the record on the record player in the middle of the living room. And we, we just play it over and over again. That's what I would listen to a lot. That's what, that's what I was doing when I was 17. Was I a good tennis player in my teens? No, I was not. Uh, I played uh, I played JV doubles, and at that I was not even on. Probably traveled once to an away match for uh, for, for a doubles tennis team, JV doubles tennis. But, uh, but you know what? I played hard. Played hard. Hey, nice Kai Havertz. Chelsea autograph for Matthew. Played with a lot of heart, though, Chad. Played with a lot of heart. And then we got a speckle, Badia Chile, to 150 for Monaco. That'll be for Brian. Uh, 
I'm, is that is that being a hipster? I don't know. I think that's just being a teenager in the '60s, Chilo. You know, listening to listening to Vince Scully broadcast broadcast games on the radio. Dodgers had just moved to LA. It's pretty exciting times. That's right. Ranked last on the court, but number one in the heart. That's right. That's right. I would just talk to the uh, you know, just talk to the other scrubs on the girls tennis team. There's a non-numbered killing Mbappe. That's weird. Aren't the greens numbered? I don't know what's happening there, but. Printing error looks like. Now I'm curious, if all 99 of these are pulled, will there be one that's missing a number? Like this is like the last one, but it just got misprinted? Or do you think the front was misprinted? It was never supposed to be numbered. But they accidentally put some color on it. Don't know. Did I ever play Australian doubles? I don't know what Australian doubles is, Mike Tower. What is that? I played a lot of pickleball. Uh, if I knew that was going to be a trend, if I knew that was going to be a trend, I would have uh, would have kept doing it. <laughs> yeah, I should send tops. Did you know? Did you know that you're missing a number on this top? When I was Jaspie's one, it was a very good break. It was a very good break for group breakers and spectators. We ripped lots of packs, pulled lots of hits when I was Jaspie's one. in high school you had to do a, that that once as a singles player when there wasn't a match of players versus the other school team they had two so that is that called us i've never heard that australian doubles where, where it's two on one i've done that before as a in like a training session we just called it two on one though and there's charlie savage or savage that goes to Man United. That's for Chad. That's 192 out of 199. The Sydney Raberger for Leipzig. He's pretty good. Did you know that Sydney Raberger has been a part of RB Leipzig, Red Bull Leipzig youth setup since he was 10 years old? Six years after coming aboard, he became the youngest player in history to make his senior debut. The midfielder features excellent passing range, a deft first touch, and a keen eye for gold. Yar, a keen eye for gold. For gold? Yar, a keen eye for for gold. Christopher Nkunku. Chris also going to Leipzig. This is for Nicholas. Yeah. 
There was Luka Susic. Sukic. And we've got Zidane Iqbal, 98 out of 99. This one's print. This one's got a stamp. It's got a number. This is for Man United. Glory, glory, Man United. There's Iqbal again. Rookie Refractor for Man United. That's for Chad. Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Kyogo, 222 out of 225 gold wave for Celtic. That's for Robert in that 17 team combo. I don't know if this is really worth that, that much, but it's cool because I like Zlatan. AC Milan, that's for Robert and that combo group. There's N'Golo Kante. And that, my friends, is that. That was 21-22. Tops UEFA Champions League Merlin Chrome Soccer. 12 box. Pick your team number 11. Another box in the store right now. Pretty nice break. Got the Kai Havertz. Got two match ball autographs, which is pretty awesome. We got two stained glass Renaissance inserts, which are pretty awesome. We got an Erlen Holland pink. To 275. Declan Rice, a lot of fun stuff here. Great break and tons of uh, beautiful parallels. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next soccer break. Bye bye.